Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Video Studio. Today a quick video to share with you a free sample from our Visual Blend Transition Pack. This pack contains 20 transitions that are very stylized and is perfect for any bold project like music video for example. In this video I'll share with you how to get the most out of that sample, how to install it and make the right modification to get the best result. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you'll find a couple of things. You got the license, the installation instruction, and the TRFX file. Please just double click on the TRFX file to start the installation process. We'll just prompt open this window, select install. Then once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Video Transition, Video to Studio, and then here you will find it under Sample. You will have the Visual Blend Transition Sample. You can then just take it and drag it to a clip. But as you can see right now, nothing is happening because we haven't trimmed our clip yet. So we just need to make sure to just trim the edges of our clip. And now we are able to just take the transition and apply it directly to our clip. Right now, our transition has been applied and is playing at real-time playback. If that's not the case for you, you can always go over to playback, then here on the cache, and then select smart instead of none. That will just bring that bar right above your transition that go from red to blue. And when it's blue, that means that the transition has been fully cached in and you should be able to get real-time playback if that wasn't the case already. Now let's select the transition and see what we can modify right here in the inspector. There is a bunch of stuff that we can adjust. First off here, you can reduce or extend the transition as much as you want. And that change gonna be reflected in the inspector as second and frame. In my opinion, for those kind of flash transition, it's generally better the shorter they are. So those transitions have been crafted to be displayed for six frame ideally. As you can see right now, we're at 28 frame and it's not a problem, it's playing just fine. But in terms of look, in my opinion, it's better when it's between 12 to six frame that just look a lot snappier and a lot better in my opinion. As you can see, we get a sequence of images being displayed. We can adjust those images blending by playing here with the blend style. By default in this one, it's in color dodge, but you can just play around to get really what you want. So here, if we choose multiply, we're gonna get a different look. If we choose color burn, we're gonna get a different look, so on and so forth. So it's your job to just like go around and just adjust whatever you want to adjust. I personally often like to play with difference and exclusion. It's what uh, give me great results when using those kind of techniques generally. As you can see right now with difference or exclusion, we are getting a different look compared to what we had with color dodge earlier. Here is a few examples on screen to show you that it can really make an impact depending on the type of footage that you're using. If you have more dark spot or white spot in your image, that's gonna also affect the blending mode differently. So just play around with it and choose the blending mode that seems to suit your footage better. Now you can also adjust the gain, which is gonna be the overall opacity of the image being displayed above the clip. So if originally it was too strong for you, you can just diminish that a little bit more and then you're gonna have something that is a bit more subtle. As you can see, it's covering up the footage a bit less and we can see a bit more what's going on in the frame compared to earlier where it's basically happening like a flash. Right now we have a better blending between the footage and the transition. Again, it's just a matter of preferences and what you enjoy visually. And now lastly, we get the shake displacement and the shake smoothness. So it's pretty self-explanatory. The shake displacement gonna increase the displacement of the shake. So here, as you can see, it's just gonna be uh, going you know, further away from the center. And the shake smoothness is gonna be how smooth that shake is. Uh, meaning that if it's at the minimal, it's basically gonna jump from place to place without uh, any movement. But if you increase that, as you can see, you're gonna get a shake that is gonna be mostly a drift rather than a displacement that is erratic all over the frame. So depend what you like. If you are here in smoothness one, as you can see, it's jumping from one corner of the frame to the other. And if you increase it to the maximum, as you can see, it's simply drifting from one side of the frame to the other. 
at any moment, if you're not happy with certain parameter, you can just double click on them to reset them to the default parameter. And that's pretty much it. I hope you'll enjoy using that transition. That's probably one of my favorite transition that we've ever created. I really, really like it. Uh, and I'm going to start to use it in a lot of my personal project. Let me know in the comment if you enjoy that kind of style. I'll be very curious to hear from you uh, and if we should create more of those kind of assets. Uh, again, if you enjoy this transition, there is a full pack available on our website now with 20 very unique uh, transition in that pack that all have different look and different blending mode. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be at video.studio.com as usual, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.